What is up guys, I'm back with another video. This time we're gonna look into how we can create that famous UK Garrus dunk base in Serum. You know the one that goes like this. Okay, so this video is gonna be really, really short. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how I set up my serum for this bass sound. So let's just stop talking and get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing we do is we load up an instance of serum into our door and we have like this really basic preset. So the first thing we do is we select the analog BG sine wave for the oscillator A and B as well. And then we're gonna set oscillator B to minus one. Then we're gonna enable our sub oscillator as well, selecting the rounded sine wave and put it to minus one, just to make sure that we get enough low end to our sound. Then we select it to be mono because it's a bass. We just want one note to be playing, not two. So now when we have set up the basic oscillators, we want oscillator A to feed FM synthesis into oscillator B. And we do that by selecting FM from A. So what we want to do is we're going to pick envelope three to control the amount of FM synthesis we're going to feed into oscillator B. And we want to shape the envelope so it's a little bit more pluggy. So we do that by pulling down the sustain all the way, put the decay to around 500 milliseconds and a little bit of release. Yeah, I think like around 700 instead. Then we're gonna select envelope one, which is the one that's controlling the amplitude of the sound. And I want a little bit like of softness and a little bit less decay, sustain to around here and then some release. So what you might hear is that the sound is a little bit round and it's perhaps lacking a little bit of transient and attack. So how we can actually fix that in Serum is to use the noise oscillator and select the attack click two here, put it to one shot mode and make it the uh, key track so it's follow like the notes and then just play around with the level. So I think around here is a good place for me. I just want to make sure that the sound is as loud as possible without going into the reds. And by reds, I mean here in the metering in, of the master knob. So I'm just gonna crank up the volume of the oscillators around here is a good place to start. Then the last thing we're going to do here is to mess around with the filter. So we're just going to enable the filter for A, B and the sub oscillator, not the, no not the noise. We're just going to set the cutoff filter to around 260 and then we're going to assign envelope free to the cutoff as well. So we get a little bit more like plugginess. down the resonance. So right now you actually have the donk bass at your disposal, but I want to add a little bit of FX to the sound to emphasize it a little bit more and enhance it. I like to add some EQ just to beef up the, the low end of the sound, set the, the frequencies to around 80 hertz and put up the gain. And then I want to like cut away some of the the high ends in the sound because I'm not interesting in my bass to occupy the the high end of of the spectrum. Add some compression, just a tiny amount of compression. And it's actually just the basic settings from Serum. Not gonna mess a lot, just a little bit with the gaining up. Then I'm gonna add a chorus just to make it a little bit stereo, but not too much. And then I wanna add some this hyper dimension thing. I think it's really cool in Serum. I tend to not be too crazy with it because it can make your sound stereo and in mono, they might not sound that great. So it's just a matter of like taste, just adding a little bit, something around here. And I, I think sometimes this re-triggering knob actually does something really cool. So sometimes I add it, sometimes I do not. But in this case, it 
creates a really awesome sound. And then we can also add a little bit of distortion. I think I'm gonna go for the soft clip. Okay, so the last thing in the FX section is that you can add some delay and reverb if you want to. This is only optional. Uh, in some cases, it can add something cool to your sounds. So my settings for the delay are like this, just a little bit of, of dry wet, not a huge amount of feedback. For the reverb, I have like um, a hall. And the decay is a little bit too long, so I'm just gonna turn it down to around 2.3 or so, and then put up the low cut. And I tend to like um, put the reverb and delay before the compressor because then the compressor can like emphasize the, the effect. So there you have it, like this is the donk bass. So I just made like a tiny MIDI loop so you can hear it in action. So the MIDI loop is like this. So I just made a really quick loop so you can hear the donk bass in context with some drums and some chord steps and vocals. So yeah, that's actually it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. I'm trying to really amp up my YouTube game with like a new camera and some new effects and really trying to make the tutorials as easy for you guys to understand as possible. So if you like this video, it will mean so much to me if you will drop it a like or even subscribe to the channel. I also added some free presets for Serum in the description down below. So don't forget to download them. Again, I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.